Hi everybody, welcome to Senior Extremers. Today we're going to go ballroom dancing. I know that doesn't sound extreme, but I think it is. I'm with doctors Jim and Nell Potter. What's this about, ballroom dancing? It's easy, isn't it? Not when you start. <laughs> uh, you start out with three left feet, and, uh, but you learn. It's a learned process, and we've enjoyed it over the years. It's an activity uh, that we've enjoyed, and we use it as an exercise activity. Now, is this something you've been doing for a long time, or you just took it up recently? We've been doing it for maybe 20 years. And these guys are 75 years young? Yeah. About that, yes. Now, <laughs> He's 76 this year. You know, this is really a lot more physical than people think it is. Tell, tell us about it. Physically well, it certainly is. Uh, it's, uh, as I say, we use it for a exercise activity for a, a good 45 minutes to an hour. You've done quite a bit of work. And it's good brain exercise because you learn one step at a time. And then I always liken it to a, a two-man football team where the guy's the quarterback, constantly in a huddle, but no breaks. And uh, so you have to go from one step to the other. Tell your partner that what you're going to be doing by subtle uh, movements and go from one step to the other as you do it. So it's, um, it's a mental challenge as well as a physical challenge. It has to be a little harder for the guy because he has to think of the step he wants to do in time and remember what he's supposed to do in time to tell me what to do uh, in time for us to both do it. So you've got to follow him uh, somewhat. Or you, both, you both know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, well, I, he's a good leader. He's easy to follow. Okay. All right, so you've been ballroom dancing for 20 years. How did you get uh, turned on to the idea of ballroom dancing? We were going to formal events uh, at the university in first one place and the other, and, and uh, there would be dancing going on, and we didn't participate. And we felt left out, so we came back and started uh, lessons and have been doing it ever since. We found, found that we liked it and enjoyed mm -hmm. it. So you have to find an instructor, I guess. And yeah, okay. one yeah. who's willing to put up with your left feet. It's just like if you want to golf, you, you you get coached. If you're participating in a sport, you get coached. And it's the same with ballroom dancing. The cardiologists now are recommended as a rehab activity for heart patients as well. No offense to our bodybuilders, but this may be more fun than going to the gym or jogging. Oh, much better. You get to hold the girls. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> yes. Now this is really neat. You're both retired doctors, but you were involved in sports as a doctor. Tell us a little bit about that. Right, I was one of the uh, volunteer physicians for the Florida Gators uh, in the late 60s and early 70s. And when we came back here, I was one of the volunteer team physicians for Scambia High School, where Emmett Smith came from, oh. uh, for 30 years. What type of practice were you in? I'm a pathologist, primarily in the hospital, dealing with physicians rather than patients directly. Although I saw bits and patients. pieces. Yeah. So you really didn't have a lot of time in your careers to pursue other types of uh, hobbies and sports, or you were pretty consumed. Mm -hmm. Well, we traveled fact, a lot and uh, raised visited. children. Uh, That's traveled. physical. Had foreign exchange yeah. students five times. And we like to sing, so we've been singing in a, in a church choir for. Our, many years, at least since 1972 when we came back. But you chose not to go home and sit on the couch and, and watch the tube? Um, we don't no. watch much TV. How has ballroom dancing helped you as you've aged? Jim had six bypasses in 2004. Really? And uh, I had a stint in four. I and think he... being active uh, probably put me in a good position to recover from it. And uh, But once you get active, you want to stay active. So you just, I don't know, it's a way of life. So you keep doing what you like to do, and we like to do this. In 2004, he rebuilt the downstairs of our house after Ivan with our son and uh, my brother-in-law, who's an engineer, and our son-in-law, uh, son who's an architect. So he had done a lot of physical activity uh, doing that after we retired in 2002. Oh, how, how much longer do you think you can keep doing something like this? Hmm, well, I've, we've seen uh, people in the studio well into their 80s, so uh, we've got a ways to go before it looks like we have to hang up our shoes. And we were talking earlier today, you have a friend that's 90? Right. That still dances. Well, there right. you go, folks. People that are thinking about this, what would you suggest? What, what's step one, two, so forth, to get started in ballroom dancing? Find a good studio. Practically all the studios offer starter um, uh, essentially a starter kit that will uh, run through some uh, steps and to begin to get you oriented, but it, 
you have to be patient and, and work with it because it comes, it's hard to begin with. Uh, and once you start getting in to the feel of it, then it becomes much easier. And then you can continue to pick up more and more complicated steps. But find a good studio, uh, work with an instructor, just like you would with any other activity that you want to improve in. Now I understand you guys don't compete in ballroom dancing, but you do perform recitals, or is that what you would call we it? We did when we started, but we just play yeah. now. We, 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 you know, we go, when the studio puts on a, uh, an showcase. event for the students, a showcase, we go to that and, and there's some general dancing during those things, but uh, we don't uh, participate in, in the learned activities like that uh, anymore. Can uh, I ask you, how long have you been married? 52 years. Folks, a couple that dances together stays together. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> we know. <laughs> well, that's it. Age doesn't define you. I'm here with doctors Jim and Mel Potter. And you can see what ballroom dancing can do for you because after 52 years, they're still going for it.